In regards to the project Yuck Fu, uh, just looking at the cover art, especially the back, something that I've never noticed before is there's a Rock Nation logo. Yeah. Can you explain that? I'm now a Rock Nation artist. Shout out to Rock Nation. They put this project out. Um, yeah, it, we actually signed a deal with them. Uh, we were going the working. The, we were going back and forth with the situation for a while. So Yuck Fu was actually done, but I knew I wanted to put a project out with them. So me and Kato kind of we were going to put it out ourselves. So we held back, and once we once this once the you know the deal was done, that was the this the first project put out by Rock Nation. Mm -hmm. And I don't recall seeing a press release that you had uh, become part of Rock Nation. So this, to me, is almost like the press release, I guess, or the yeah. It's, it's, you know, I didn't want to. I didn't really want to do that, man. Um, I didn't want to do that. Like, hey, look at me. I'm Rock Nation. I'm this. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because you never really know how. Just with the funk volume situation, I'm always like, kind of like <sighs> paranoid with situations and how they may, how how it how it may you know unravel or it. Or, you know, so I don't want to be so gun ho with with it at first. So I was just like, I'm chill, we'll put it back, we'll ride out. People know it's on Rock Nation, but I'm not gonna fucking be like, Rock, it's the fucking Rock Nation, Rock, you know what I'm saying? And but that everybody over there is so fucking cool, man, and, and they've been showing me so much love. Um so yeah, I just didn't want to do like the whole press release yeah. rollout. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Uh well how did this all happen? How did you become a part of it. Shout out to um, uh, Orlando, man. He made that happen. He's one of the head A&Rs. He's like the head VP over there now. Um, and I always had a re working relationship. And he played it for some people. And they, he, you know, played my old catalog and shit like that. And he was like, he was been putting shit out. So at the funk volume, I was just putting shit out by myself. Um, you know, it was certain shit was dis, uh, dis distributed by Empire. Shout out to Empire too; they always showed me a lot of love. And then I was like, man, I just want to. This the fucked up thing is when you kind of putting shit out by yourself. Um, sometimes you just is. I don't know. I wanted to try something different. I was like, let me let me let me go back to a label and, and try to get a certain different rollout. And um, he made it happen over there, man. And here we are. Now you could have uh, been with any label. Why Rock Nation? I think because he was over there too, and I already had like a relationship with him. I felt comfortable knowing he was in the building over there. Um, and plus, uh, it, it was—I don't know—they were just cool, man. Everybody over there was just, you know, seemed fucking cool, man. So that's why. How long did this uh, take? This entire process uh, from the time you know Orlando played them their your old catalog and that sort of thing to you actually signing probably i want to say probably six months six months yeah and after you signed i mean you didn't publicly let uh the cat out of the bag but no. uh, who was the first person let you let know hey i think people i i all, all my people were friends and shit i was close to they knew i was um they knew the situation was happening because a couple people were coming to me trying to bring different situations and I was like, you know, I'm in the process of, you know, working with Rock Nation. So I, I let people know that the, the process was happening. So mm. nobody was nobody on my team or my friends was shocked about it. They already knew. I think fans were shocked. They didn't know that. Fans didn't have no idea. Like I would tease them and say certain shit like, they was like, what's taking so long with the project? I was like, well, you know. When you're putting shit out with a major label, it's different. It's a process with that. Mm. I just can't throw shit out on the fucking spot spontaneously like I used to. What was the response when uh, they saw the artwork with the logo and? Oh, it was it was positive. Everybody's like, oh shit, um, shock. I would say more so shock than, but it was a lot of positive, a lot of positive feedback. But more so shock, like oh shit, he's on Rock Nation. How'd you celebrate? I didn't. I hadn't even celebrated. Man, I'm I'm not a pessimist, but I'm just like, uh, I'm like, I'm more so like, damn, how can I put it? A realist? A realist. I'm more so of a realist. And I didn't celebrate because I feel like, I'm one of those people that's like, I put so much pressure on myself, I feel like it's nothing to celebrate yet. I want to, I want to, once I have success from, 
certain shit once certain shit reaches certain up. So I'm always so extra fucking hard on myself. So I never celebrate because I still feel like I'm not at a certain level where I want to be in my head. Like, so it's hard to celebrate. And I know you should celebrate on, you know, small wins and things like that. But for me, it's like, I can't celebrate. I can't celebrate until I'm fucking, I don't know, until, I don't know. It, you know how we all just have our own personal levels of where we want to be. So for me, I'm not at that level to where I want to be. Does a Rock Nation deal come with a Jay-Z verse? Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> Jay Z's actually on bullshit. <laughs> yo, that'd be so. That, yo, they would have had me right there. If a fucking Rock Nation deal came with an automatic Jay Z verse, oh, get the fuck out of here. Hell yeah. Uh, Jay, yo. Maybe in the future, man. Ho hopefully, somebody on the team. Jay Z, if you see this, man, you want to throw me a fucking verse? <laughs> you know. Why not, man? Like they say, let's do it for the culture. Haven't had a chance to meet him yet. Mm-mm. I hope I fucking get to meet him, man. I love to fucking meet Jay. Jay's one of, like, another dude I consider, like, one of my top five favorite fucking rappers. He's up there. Um, yeah. yeah. That's the motherfucker, man. That wasn't a demand during the six-month process. I'm not signing this. No, I, you know what's so crazy, I man? I Jay-Z first. I, I just... I'm, I so, like... I'm so appreciative and I'm so thankful for things that I'm just, like... I appreciate the opportunity. Thank y'all for just reaching out. So it's like, yeah. I ain't even asking. I don't even want to ask for much. Just let me get this opportunity to shine and just help me out. So for me, I'm not like, I need a fucking Jay-Z verse. I need Rihanna on some shit. Let's make this happen, man. I'm going to take the the most of what the fuck you give me and make some of that. I'm just, a, I'm appreciative that like, they came to me at a time where it's like, I was kind of like, you know, feeling like, damn, what do I'm going to do with my shit? What's the next step? And they presented the opportunity. That just like, for me, I look. I'm very. I'm a. I'm a dude, man. Like this, I count my blessings, bro. So, mm. I'm. I'm very appreciative, and I feel blessed with the opportunity. Did you even inquire? Hey, is Jay Z gonna be at the signing? Nah, I didn't. I didn't. You know, it's so crazy. And that's another. I didn't want to do shit like that either, because I'm like, yo, well, man, I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> I don't want to do nothing to fuck this shit up. I ain't finna ask about Jay-Z. I ain't asking about Rihanna. I'm just finna just do me. Now, uh, you've already, uh, on the uh, Yuck Fu album, mm -hmm. I see that not only was there the Rock Nation logo, but you also collaborated with a Rock Nation artist. Yeah. Jay Park. Jay fucking Park. Uh, was that done after you did this deal, or was that already done prior to that was done after, because we put Money Bag out um, a while ago. We put Money Bag out last year. And um, it just, I felt like, I love that fucking song, man. I was like, man, this shit just, you know, I was, we was doing it independent. And I was like, yo, I don't even have, like, the push behind it to put the song out the way it should be. And then the song was out for a while. It didn't get the, the look that I wanted it to. And everyone that heard it loved the song so fucking much. They was like, this shit should, the song is dope. Um, and then Cardi B comes with money bag. Shout out to Cardi B. She got a money bag song too. And I was like, damn, I can now when I put my money. So I don't know. I was like, I want to revamp money bag because I want to put it on a project. And what other fucking better way to put it out than have Jay Park on it? Um, it worked two ways because the producer, it was a, it's a project that me and Kato did. He's Korean. And I was telling him with this process, like, bro, bro, you need to embrace, like, your ethnicity on this shit, man. And, and so the best feature, Jay Park popping, this shit is dope. I'm like, yo, let's do it, bro. Now, uh, how did that come about? Was that something you go to your Rock Nation people and say, hey, I want Jay Park a part of this? That's an idea that Bree um, came up with. Uh, uh, the mark she does marketing at Rock Nation, damn. I, um, and I was like, yo, that's a great fucking idea. And so we reached out to him, and he was like, fucking yeah, he's with it. And we made it happen. Was this something where you traded Pro Tools sessions to each other? Did you record this in the same? Studio? Yeah, well, no. I I just sent him. We sent him the um, track, and he knocked that shit out. How quick? Super quick. Like super quick, man. That's a cool motherfucker, bro. Like. Whatever he need from me, I got him. I got you, Jay Park. 
even though I could use some of your fucking fans, motherfucker.